must fight evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost. So long. I had to be sure I was not followed. And were you? I was real careful. Leave in town? No. I have a problem. Bullet hole. I'll say you do. I thought you had a nice cushy desk job. Since when are they dangerous? I gave that the office lifestyle. I was really lucky this time. Was this King Charlemagne? Emperor Charlemagne. Yeah, that's what I meant. I never saw this before. That's because they don't exist yet. They're Europe's new currency. The European economic community is about to put them into circulation. Is it real? I doubt it very much. What do you want? Take me to see the only member of the committee who has enough power and integrity to help me to find out what's going on. I know you work for him. Take me to see Alexander Addington. Please. Okay. Stupid. 
Now, how the hell did these get out? What does the Ministry of the Interior have to say about all this? They haven't been informed, sir. I am not in the National Secret Service anymore. I am with Europol now. Since Europol agents are recruited by their respective countries, most of them still pledge allegiance to their own flag, which is why I've kept this a secret. We'll be ready by Friday. We full delivery for Tuesday night. <laughs> you must be joking. Even if I print night and day, we'll be lucky to be finished on Thursday morning. Then you better start drinking coffee and lots of it. Time is running out. Your prototypes have been misplaced. I thought you had them in the safe. I did. Only it seems Dumont had the combination. And as soon as he feels better, he'll tell us who he sold them to. Then we take back what's ours and life goes on. For us, that is. Well, I certainly <laughs> can understand why you'd want to avoid a financial scandal. Uh, uh, do sit down, Miss Lanier. Please forgive me. But if there are more of these fake notes out there, I mean, my God, that means most of the individual economies of Europe will be altered irreversibly. Now, you surely can't expect to solve all this by yourself. I don't. That's why I came to you. If you can't help me, then I have no choice but to sound the alarm. Uh, Miss Provine, get me Peter Sinclair, will you? Right away, sir. Oh. Come on, Dumont, you know how simple it is. He brings pain, I bring relief. No! Flooding the European market with forged currency could right. bleed 12 Peter countries Peter. to death. Gabby's on her way. Oh. Well, this could make the Great Depression look like a picnic. There's obviously a leak. But where exactly? Well, that's what we intend to find out. I just hope it's not too late. He obviously didn't. Get rid of his papers, too. No, Ru. This is the wolf calling from Belgium. Stay at Dumont's place until I get there. I want to know who comes and goes. Some girl has to sample, I want them back. No matter what the cost. You know exactly what I mean. These guys went the full nine yards. I mean, all these serial numbers are sequential. Usually what these guys do is they make an offset print of about 12 copies. And then they make a zillion copies off of that. And you only got about 12 numbers. But here, no two numbers are the same. Well, if someone is out to disrupt the economy, they're off to a good start. We cannot let these bills be circulated. Damn right. This is financial terrorism. Now, where are you going to start? Well, we have to find out more about Jamal. More about... The bills. Clearly, whoever forged them had to have a prototype. We just have to find out who it was. We'll have to be fast before every bank in Europe starts trading in these. How come they call him the inkwell? He could copy any and every ink on the market, right down to the smell. When I finally tracked him down for adding zeros to checks and changing names on passports, he became my informer. 
But he didn't actually tell you that these were fakes? He did not have a chance. Usually, I call him for information, and this time he called me. He was afraid that his employer was planning to get rid of him. And this is what he used to do it? The most probably dead. I assume that there are no shooting victims reported in any of the emergency rooms? No. No. Well, we have to find out who Dumont's employer was. Have you any idea who it might have been? <laughs> if I did, I'd have him already. Nobody saw anything. A few people didn't even hear anything. I'm not surprised. Nobody was around. I'd say you had a nightmare if it wasn't for this. They even picked my shells off the pavement. You know where he lives? Dumont? Yeah. He kept changing address for safety reasons, but I know one place we can go. Show me. I owe him a favor. And if I do you a favor, you will owe me one too. Fine. But I still need Dumont's address first. You want it, huh? Come on back and get it. Come on. Ready for your mission, Martel? All right, I tell you, I tell you the address. All right. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Mr. Addington's recommendation had to be verified. If you'll come this way, please. Mr. Anderson's waiting for you. Welcome to the Europe of the 21st century, Miss Germain. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. My assistant, Armand. It's a pleasure. That'll be all, Valérie. Thank you. My assistant has to make a few preparations while we talk. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. The wonderful thing, being in the center of it all, is you get the best of every country. What will you have? Aquavit from Finland? Freshly squeezed Spanish orange juice or a glass of sauterne? Well, a glass of water from the tap would be fine. I know it's a lot to ask of you, Mr. Anderson, but I was wondering if we could visit the printing plant. I'm afraid not. But after all, it's just two days away from the official release date. But we have very strict security regulations. But in light of Mr. Addington's recommendations and your own persuasive talents, I will show you what the monetary future of Europe looks like. Oh, yes. Valérie? Yes? Yeah, could you please bring us uh, one of the notes? Yes, sir. Oh, pardon. Maybe your assistant wants something to drink? Oui, bien sûr. Nothing is working. Thank you. Sure, your friend didn't steer us wrong? Oh, positive. Marcel's got a soft spot for assertive women. Assertive? <laughs> I don't think that guy's ever gonna drink cappuccino again. That's his loss. You know, I don't trust men who don't drink coffee. It's beautiful. Mm hmm. Well, before we do the interview, I would like to take a few pictures of you. Like this? Um, well. 
Actually, by the window would look nice, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, by the window. Armand. Quite the flash you have there. Yeah, it's real light. Otherwise, you'd be backlit. I see. Well, I think we have enough. Armand, you can go get the car and uh, pack everything. So let us proceed, Mr. Anderson. Tell us what the monetary change would mean for our readers. Well, I'm glad to see you haven't lost your touch with men, Monique. Women like you could put guys like me out of business. I hope not, Stone. It would take the challenge out of my work. You mean recreation, don't you? What do you do in your spare time anyway? That's classified. Mm. It's the only house in the courtyard. Yeah, well, I think they're going to have a welcoming committee for us up there. It's the one place they know I'll show up sooner or later. Well, chances are they won't shoot you. You're the only way they know to get their money back. Thanks for the pep talk, but you know as well as I do, they don't need the money back. They just want to shut me up permanently. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen. They are going inside. She checked for cockroaches. I get the new tenants will be here any time now. Do you have your copy of the list? Of course I do, dear. Here. Well, I've showed you mine. How about you show me yours? Let's go. Well, if anybody has any walls to take down, I'll tell them you got the right equipment. your gun down. Now! Don't leave home without it.
notice the distinct filigree in the normal light, in the white areas. Now, if that paper were fake, the special blue that the industry uses would turn fluorescent in the ultraviolet light. But as you can see, it remains white. The paper is not artificially whitened. So let's overlay the two. The original bill from the mint matches exactly the fake one from the suitcase. They are identical. Except for the numbers, of course. Indeed. Which is why we took the liberty of using the mass spectrometer to analyze the precise chemical compositions of the bills. Here are the results. You see, the papers match in every way, right down to the Urtica sinensis. Could you speak English, Bennett? <laughs> to the unenlightened, sir, that's Chinese nettle used in banknotes throughout the world. It's what gives cotton blend its texture and resistance. Yes? No, no, not now. No, I'm sorry. It is, I might add, quite difficult to obtain outside official channels. So, you're telling me, in your typically baroque fashion, that these people manufactured a perfect replica of the European bill? It certainly looks that way. Thank you very much. To us, yes. Because we are using our eyes. We have perhaps a chance to prove that the suitcase bills are fake. Where is the real bill we borrowed from Brussels? Your technicians told me something very interesting. Mm -hmm. Look at the corner of the bill. Yes. Now touch it very carefully with your fingertips. Mm. But so there's a bump. No. Actually, there are two bumps. But to untrained fingers, they register as one. Well, it's Braille. The language for the blind? Yes. You're right. According to new European regulation, every new bill must be embossed so that the blind can identify the currency. And those bills from the suitcase are smooth, I'll bet. Yes. So no, the counterfeiters had to make some mistake somewhere. Well, duplicates of such quality could never have been made without a sample of the real bill itself. That confirms there's a leak along the line. We have a list of all people who've had uh, official access to the bills. Well, we've got to narrow it down in some way. We're late. I ran into some trouble, but I think we know his name. Who was it? Do you mind? Go ahead. Grey Wolf. It's on Interpol's most wanted list. Last time I ran into this guy, he was in Baghdad. That's not him. Oh, yes, it is. Derek Wolf also known as the Grey Wolf. Now, this is him before the beauty parlor and after. Yes, that's him. Wanted for extortion, forgery, assault, and terrorism. Cited in Cyprus, Peru, Baghdad, Belfast. Right curriculum for the right profile. He also works with Bosco Germain, one of the best forgers on the continent. Well, it seems we have a prime suspect here. Not quite. Bosco's been in prison for three years now. No, it's a hell of a good place to start. Do you have any idea where he might be? In Liège, Belgium. Tell uh, JJ to get the plane ready and get me the police commissioner at Liège. We're on our way. Uh, no, Mr. Stone, I, I think in these matters, Peter has more experience. Mr. A. If uh, Mr. Germain has anything to offer, Peter's style of investigation will uh, work a lot better, all right? You ready? Yeah. This is a new currency, eh? 
Beautiful. Very nice. Oh, another one. Which one is fake, Bosco? How am I supposed to know? You know all the tricks. I used to. But I've uh, been in this place long enough to have forgotten them all. Well, I guess he needs a little more time to remember. Although, didn't I hear the warden say that with continued good behavior, he could be eligible for parole? Next year. Next year. Mm -hmm. Next year, Mr. Germain, that's not too shabby, is it? Nice work, but uh, not nice enough for me. The paper. I always said the paper is the tricky part. Here is your part, boy. The filigree is wrong, and the paper is too white. Any idea who might have done it? But I told you I am out of the circuit. Look around you. It's a jail here. I can make your life so much easier. I can make it a hell of a lot worse. Come on. It's uh, nobody in Europe. Not for sure. Europeans would have managed to doctor the paper better. It's a tradition here. Try uh, the American mom. Or maybe the Yakuza. That's all I got. <laughs> you, you have a cigarette? We'll get you some. He's not telling the truth. <laughs> That's not out of character around here. <laughs> no, I can well imagine. The warden, we need to ask you a rather special favor. before it went to press. This is a, a very flattering article, Miss Germain. Well, I'm glad you like it. I have some more good news for you. We're moving towards a cover story. So, there are a couple of things that I need to know about you. I'm at your disposal, Miss Germain. Day or night. Uh. Ah, Valérie. Here's the information you requested, Miss Anderson. Thank you. This is for you. Isn't this material classified? Miss Germain's clearance. You will make a reservation for two at the restaurant Argenblick within one hour. You can't write uh, about an autocrat if you don't know what's on his table. Thank you, Valérie. That will be all. Hold my calls. I hope you fully understand the nature of your request. Oh, absolutely. My responsibilities in this prison do not include this kind of uh, collaboration. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think you are aware of the position uh, this is putting me in. Europol appreciates your cooperation. And if the Department of Correctional Facilities finds any fault, I'll speak on your behalf. And from my point of view, we've never even been here. Hmm. I see we understand one another completely. Completely. You have until the second recreation hour, and that's it. Thank you. One phone per floor. 
Where's the only keep an eye on their guests? Yeah, well, we only need to tap into Bosco's floor. Yep, well done. Think he'll make a call? Well, he may need a little extra persuasion. You got my secret. You lied to me. Beg your pardon? We've just spoken to our headquarters, Monsieur Germain. And if there is anything wrong with these bills, Sure, the hell in the paper. You have a right. You can't do this, Peter. He has a point. They are both bodies. And you know it. It's your problem. You can't behave this way. I can behave any damn way I like. We know who they are. We know where they are. So you don't need his testimony. I will be the judge of that, mademoiselle. Take it or leave it. Okay. Now, Monsieur Germain, if you tell me what I want to know, I can arrange that your stay in this place is shorter than you could ever have imagined. If, on the other hand, you don't tell me what I want to know, I can equally easily arrange that your stay is permanent and very unpleasant. No more unpleasant can it get. How about no more workshops? No more library? No more phone calls? No more exercise and no more visits, starting today? Suggest, Monsieur Germain, that you keep a very careful eye on the headlines of these papers over the next few days. Guard. He's only awesome. Went. We'll see. You should have pursued an acting career. <laughs> so should you. You took to it like a duck to water. Tell that to Stone. Uh, you can do your own dirty work. All right. All we have to do now is wait and listen to a bunch of very boring phone calls. Bonsoir, Valérie. I've signed all these letters. You can send them right away. Good okay. Good evening to you, Monsieur. Good evening. Mademoiselle. Good evening. It's somewhere in the countryside. Belgian cities have seven digits. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that is me, Peter. Yeah, we've got it. It's a Belgian number. It's in the countryside. Four two two four three five. Yeah, put a trace on it. No, no, no. I'll hold on. How long is she gonna be in there? I could sure use some ketchup. These fries are starting to get stale. Come on, how about tomorrow, Gabby? Jeez. No, thank you for the after-dinner drink, Mr. Anderson. The meal was wonderful. Well, let's blow this joint.
I don't believe it. I don't. Yes, that's it, Mr. Anderson. Help her with her coat. Get, get yours. That's it. That's it. Put it on. Here we come. Hallelujah. I don't believe it. Here we come. Well, it's about time. A couple of guys just asked Gabby and Anderson to get into a limo. Someone's taken Gabriel and Anderson. What the hell happened, Stone? I'm on their tail right now, Pete. Yeah, well, you damn well better be. Now, we're leaving Liège, heading northwest. Don't lose her. journalist and I'm working on an article. I'll make sure you get a full page for your obituary when they discover your body miles away from here tomorrow morning. But right now I have other things in mind. A lot of packing to do. Here, I've got everything. Plane tickets, certificates of transportation in case of police. Thank you, my dear. But I only need one plane ticket. But you said! Uh, you won't get away with this. People are on their way here now. Too bad you won't be here when they arrive. We'll be on a little trip until the morning, of course. of open ground. I have six bullets in the magazine and four magazines. I think it's enough firepower for a diversion. Yeah, well, that's very reassuring. But I prefer to work without the fireworks.
going on outside. Tell you not to point a gun at anybody? What the hell kept you? Well, I thought you were doing all right there for a while, Pete. <sighs> Abby's in their truck. Their truck. Where's Monique? She's out there somewhere. Reference checks out. There's still the matter of the CEO's involvement with the rating agency. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. What is it, Miss Prava? Monique called. Monique? Yes, and uh, she wanted to bring you this personally, but she was obliged to go to Brussels this morning. Getting a good talk into? <laughs> no. She got a promotion, actually. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Monique is going to head the new security task force for the European community. Oh, modern art. All right. <laughs> Guess what? It's what's left of the printing plates. They're all melted down. Clever, clever. So do you want to hear what she has to say? Yeah. Sorry about the fire. I'll try and remember about teamwork next time. When it do you think she'll ever make a good team member, Stone? You work whether you tell me. <laughs> well, I'd say she certainly has. Oh, yeah, she's, she's got potential. Yeah, no worries there. What happened to Mr. Anderson? Uh, the committee retired him voluntarily. Uh, poor Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yes, they obviously didn't trust his ability to hire suitable assistants. They also uh, found a forged bill in his office. Could have been prosecuted. He might have ended up in the same cell as the gray wolf. All right, let's get on. This guy Danza was one hell of an artist. <laughs> he had the best of teachers. His own father, that old rascal Bosco Germain. What really distinguishes new money from old is not when it was made, but how. 